This is a, a bumper we have made. Style hose, the part number we give you. We'll get this done. Hi guys, this is Adam again with Adrenaline Cycles coming at you with a video today. Um, we've had a lot of customers coming in lately, um, got their machine, uh, you know, looking for some, you know, needed items. Uh, you know, and one of those is always audio, being able to listen to your music while you're out on the trail. So today I'm gonna go over um, you know, entry level price point, um, something that's, uh, you know, um, in the middle, you know, sub, you know, $1,000 um, that works out really well. We actually run it on some of our personal side by sides and then we'll talk about, you know, the high, high end stuff. You know, we're talking about audio roofs then. We're getting into, you know, custom stuff with subs and things like that. So, but we want to start out with, you know, where, you know, my budget a lot of times falls is, you know, with a budget audio that works. You know, you can get, get online, buy something really cheap, and it gets home, and it's it's crap. You can't hear it. The engine's louder than it. Um, but we've had really good experience with this Boss Audio stuff. Um, I've run their tower speakers. I've run this little kit. I got it in my boat now. Um, and a lot of guys have run different stuff. We've put these on some Rikers as well. Um, this is an underseat sub that works really well, and it's got some good sound. For your X3, it's it's small. We put them in some Defenders, and again, a really nice price point on these. Most of this stuff, um, a lot of the most popular sound bars is about 211 bucks, um, but I think this subs, you know, it's under 300 bucks. It might even be under 200, but all this ball stuff is really economical. They keep it uh, in stock here pretty well. It's it's pretty available to get. Um, one of the, you know, this is here is. Uh, probably our second most popular sound bar. Uh, it's 18 inches. Um, works really well. It's got, as you can see here, a nice display. Um, like I said, they're waterproof. They're Bluetooth. They work really well. Uh, simple hookup. So that makes it really, you know, feasible for a lot of people. Um, by far, the the biggest seller in the Boss lineup for us though is this 22 or 26 inch Riot sound bar. Um, being 26 inches, it fits, you know, a Razor, an X3, a Defender. A Maverick Sport, uh, a Commander. Um, we actually have that in our demo Commander. Um, works out really well, guys. I mean, if we're putting in our stuff that we're going to have to ride around, I mean, you got to have faith that, that it's a good product. And like I said, these are around 211 bucks. And I mean, for the price, dude, th there's not a better one out there. Uh, we'll peek around on the back side and we'll show you some other options for you ATV guys. Uh, if you want a little more sound, which these are really loud. But uh, they got like a bazooka tube on the backside that Boss offers. We'll look at it. All right, guys. You know, back in the day, everybody I called them bazooka tubes, and basically they look like a big PVC type setup. But uh, Boss also has this setup, and it's really popular on ATVs. Um, I've seen them on side by sides. They put them in the back, and I, honestly, I've seen them on boats and and stuff like that. So it really is a versatile, you know, sound setup. Uh, it has the bigger speakers, so you get a little more bump out of it than you do a traditional sound bar. Uh, the top two here coming in at 155 bucks, and they also have the remote, so you can do the Bluetooth lighting in it and get some different color LED lighting. And then the one on the bottom, it's just the, you know the standard, cheapest of the cheap. That one comes in at about 125 bucks. Uh, doesn't have no lights. 450 watts. Um, and so every, all, all the stuff's Bluetooth nowadays, guys, so you don't have to worry about plugging in an aux cord. If you got an aux cord, they all come with it, but for the most part, everybody's Bluetooth in these days, which works out. But they do have the aux cord on all these. Um, they have the typical lighter plug-in on these ATV style. It works out really good, um, so you can just plug right in. So there's really no wiring. You just got to mount it down, and if you're in a pinch or in a hurry, you could use some zip ties and put it on your ATV or side-by-side -side or whatever. So really good options, really economical, um, and everything's Bluetooth from Ball. So we'll step on over to what I call, you know, the in the middle as far as pricing, but a really great product, and uh, we'll talk about that now. All right, guys, I'm up here at option two. Option two is um, a power-based product. Uh, we'll start on the XL650 side. Um, with this product here, it is a sound bar. Um, you will have to, it comes with a generic standard clamp. 
but typically to mount it on the X3 behind your head on the big roll bar, you gotta get the bigger clamps and they'll mount right on there and work just fine. But uh, these products here, we've been extremely you know, pleased with. They work really well. This 650 has uh, six speakers in it. And I mean, this thing is loud. Um, takes up very minimal space and has the clearest, best sound out of any sound bars we've had. We've had wet sounds. We've had, you know, even the ball stuff is good, but it's not this good. Um, with the 650 here, price point that we're selling them at is 450. Um, they work really well. And uh, this one, we've put in a lot of, um, you know, machines. Typically, the ones that are smaller, like a Maverick Sport or a Commander, or even some ATVs, we've installed this on the front rack because it is small enough. It still is Bluetooth. You can do all you want to with that. Um, also down below, we are stocking their tower speakers they have. These, these things are super nice. They're 200 watt. I mean, they're just as crystal clear and sound great. Um, some guys want that and they will integrate in with um, the sound bar. So that's all, you know, one company, you know, it will work together. It does really, really good. Um, some of the things you might look at when you're buying a sound bar will be the clamps. These are the power base clamps here. Um, they work really well. They fit around the center rod on the back of an X3 and it'll bolt straight to the top or bottom so you can orient this however you want. Um, we also have some other ones here that are a little thinner profile, which we'll use to mount up high instead of down low. It'll mount up higher on the cage uh, and then also have a sleek enough look to where it's not in your way um, or anything like that. So we have a few mounting options there. Um, we'll scroll around to the other side here and we'll show you the bigger one, the 1250 um, sound bar, and I'll go over some stuff on that. All right, guys, th this one here is the XL1250. Um, it's a really nice sound bar. Um, it's just, I mean, I'm telling you, hands down, I'm putting this in my new buggy after hearing it, being around it in some other guys' buggies, and for how many we sell here locally, um, there's not a better sound bar out there, guys. This one comes in at about seven, 700 is what we sell them for here in the store. Um, they work great. I mean, they're a no-brainer. Um, here's all the wiring and stuff that comes with it. Like I said, you got your audios ins and outs so you can run your amps off of it. Um, that was one thing that, you know, the other models didn't allow you to do. So you got audio in, audio out. Um, you also have, you know, just your standard power stuff. Um, some cool options I do like on these is the, the remote you can put on your keychain, or you can just Velcro tie it, you know, Velcro it down on the dash somewhere so you can change your sound and stuff on the sound bar. Uh, the one I'm probably going to run, I like really well on my buggy will be this sound bar with this button here. It's all plug and play. It's designed to work right with it and it'll just go on a spot in my dash and I'll be able to control all the functions not have to leave them behind me to do it. So it's, they definitely have some good options here, some good accessories to go along with the sound bar to make the experience as good as it can be. Um, in this realm of area, um, you know, the only other thing I would say even be in the realm of comparing this stuff to would be some of the Rockford Fosgate kits that you see people buying and putting in with the head unit and all the speakers and stuff. Um, sound quality wise, it's probably in my opinion about the same. But the one downfall is this is a really straightforward, simple hookup. Not a lot of wires to run where if you get in that rock for Fallsgate, some of the kits we've installed, dude, there's a lot of wires and the connections are, in my opinion, questionable at best for a product that's going to be in this environment. So just keep that in mind. Great product. But, you know, if you're just wanting to get on the trail, have great sound for, you know, a fairly decent price and really easy install at home, these power based sound bars are the way to go. We'll step on up to the final one, which is where we'll be talking about audio tops and, you know, the benefits and stuff of those as well. All right, guys, we come to the third stereo option. Um, the one I run last year is the audio top. Uh, Josh will put a picture somewhere over in here, guys. But uh, there's a couple different audio top, uh, you know, roofs that you can go with. Uh, the most popular ones we know is uh, Probox Audio Forms. Last year and a half, BRP has come out with their Rockford Fosgate audio roofs. Um, and what you have here is options. Um, they're all really good. Uh, we'll start with uh, the Pro Box. Um, the look's really nice. Um, they got decent components, but they're all, you know, their house brand. You know, so they are what they are at the end of the day. I think they're a little overpriced. 
for what you get there as far as the brand stuff. Going over to um, what we'll have here, it'll be an audio forms roof for like an X3. Um, we like those, that's what I run last year, or the last two years on my XMR and the Max. Um, I like it because I get the backup camera option. I get um, you know pretty good sounding speakers, the lights on it as well. Um, and then when I had mine, they run the Rockford Fosgate head units. Now they have switched over to a new style, a new brand, a little bit bigger dash, but it's not a Rockford Fosgate. So you gotta take that with a grain of salt. Uh, the light bars on the audio forms got a lot better over the years, so we hadn't had those issues. Um, but again, you know, we're talking, you know, these are top of the line, you know, audio roofs. The entry level one, which is pretty bare bones, is going to be around, you know, twenty-eight to three thousand um, dollars. You get into they're pretty hard to ship because they're heavy, they're awkward, and they can get damaged. Um, the audio forms roofs are going to be in the same ballpark on a two-seater. They're going to start at around twenty-eight hundred and go to five thousand dollars. Typically with the audio forms roof, we keep uh, the, the higher end roofs with the subs and the backup cameras and all that because, you know, if you're gonna buy an audio roof, you need the backup camera and then everybody wants subs. Um, so we keep those in stock uh, for two and four seaters. And the final one is BRP new to the game. Uh, the benefit BRP, in my opinion, has over both other manufacturers is first off, you get uh, Rockford Fosgate components in the audio top. You don't get uh, somebody's house brand that they're telling you it's better and all this stuff. You're getting true Rockford Fosgate head unit and speakers. So you know what you got. You got Rockford Fosgate amps in there. So it's really, really thought out. The second thing is, is the durability of those. The BRP is injection molding plastic. So it will take a rollover very well. Um, Nick's had that on a buggy he's had before the BRP roof and the you know when it gets rolled over and leaned up against the tree it'll take the scrape or take the dent pop back out and keep on going. Um, I will tell you with the uh, audio forms and the pro box top they will crack. Uh, it's just nature of the beast fiberglass is not made to flex that much and if you really ride it or if you roll it over it's gonna take you know the grunt of the, the force and, and need repaired either by somebody professional or you do it at your house and live with what it looks like. So there is some things to take away. Um, if you're satisfied with, you know, hearing the radio and want to be on a budget, the Boss Audio stuff, definitely look at that stuff, guys. I'm telling you, you'll be uh, pleased and ecstatic with the price point and what you get for that. Uh, the middle of the road stuff, again, there's a lot of options out there. Um, I got away from the sound bar and went to the audio roof and now I'm going back to the sound bar just because I think um, the sound there, you know, that's the reason I went with the audio roof to get the sound I wanted. Hindsight now, the, the sound bars have gotten as good as the big roofs in my opinion. So for me, I'm gonna save a little weight on my machine by going to a sound bar and not sacrifice any of the sound. Third thing is um, with the higher end audio roofs, you, you gotta think of a couple things, you know, um, both audio forms and pro box are going to have a nice product but you know even with that if there's a warranty issue or something going on it's going to be really hard or take three times the amount of time what we've experienced into getting something repaired with the brp tops um, we've had uh, maybe one amp go out and that was pretty much a straight through warranty claim right through brp it come in we fixed it sent it back out um, and every now and then we've seen the little color rings go bad, the LED rings. Um, but outside of very few of those, uh, the warranty process has been streamlined, smooth. So that's something to keep in mind, guys, if you're looking at Audio Top 2, is if something does go wrong, where do you get your help at to fix it? Um, all in all, it comes down to you guys riding your machine on what you want. Uh, me, you know, price is one thing but i think the value at the end of the day is where it falls at for me and that's why on my new buggy when we do the walk around on it um, you'll see some of the stuff i went with again it's it serves my purpose and it uh, you know it was pretty easy on the pocketbook compared to other options out there so uh, if you guys like this video be sure to hit the like and subscribe down below i hope you got some information on this and give you some ideas to, you know, maybe look at, you know, some sound options for your machine. And like I said, all these are clamped type uh, sound bars. So really, if you got some kind of tube or even a flat spot 
on your machine, you should be able to mount this up. I mean, don't limit yourself to thinking it's got to go here, got to go there. They can go anywhere, guys. They're really universal and versatile to do that. As always, guys, stay safe on the trail, and we'll see you out there. This is a, a bumper we have made. Style hose, the part number we'll get this done.